Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Hearst Quasar, and welcome back to Quasar's Customs. We are doing a slight build here on a motor for our next movie car. Well, not necessarily a movie car, but um, we have done uh, television shows in the past, you know. Um, uh, Dukes of Hazard, um, Knight Rider, uh, Supernatural, they're all, you know, those are all um, TV shows. So, you know, why not do one for this one as well? Um, so what we have behind me, break away from this for a minute, is what is left of a uh, 1967 uh, Chevy Impala. <laughs> um, yeah, so I got this thing out of the junkyard. Um, it's it's horrible. It's the only one I, I've been able to find. And look at the miles on it. 223,000 miles. This is not one I really wanted. But, um, yeah. Um, so I, I, pro I pulled it out of there. And, um, yeah, anyway. Um, this is uh, from the television show Last Man Standing. Um, it is a... Tim Allen show. If any of you know who Tim Allen is, he did have a television show uh, back, I believe, in the uh, 80s, late 80s, early 90s, uh, called Home Improvement, um, which he was a uh, host of a television show um, for Home Improvement, right? So he was this bumbling, um, basically a bumbling carpenter, um, to say the least. And... Um, he had his buddy on the show, Al, who was always bailing him out, you know, um, about all the troubles. But, um, yeah, and it, I mean, that's what the, the show was all about. You know, of course, family family things and everything else. Um, and he loved cars. He was a big car lover and that as well. Um, and he had three boys. I don't think I mentioned that. He had three boys in that uh, home improvement show. Well... What we have now is, you know, Last Man Standing. Um, Last Man Standing, you can kind of imagine what it is. He doesn't have all boys now. He has all girls, so his wife and three daughters. So he is the, quote, unquote, last man standing in the house. Um, and it is it's very similar, very, very similar to Home Improvement. Um, Tim Allen got his, his start, you know, as a... Oh, I didn't didn't pick that up. Oh wow. Um, Tim Allen got his start um, as a stand-up comedian, and he had this grunt that he would, you know, for men. You know, it was always this, you know, uh, kind of like a caveman grunt for men. You know, this uh, 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 type of grunt, right? Well, that 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 kind of grunt actually um, got him some fame and and some notoriety. So. Um, um, he was, I mean, I think he was in trouble with the law. He even spent some time in jail. He was, you know, in bad shape. Um, but he turned his life around. Um, as a comedian, he was able to, you know, uh, get through some of that stuff. And then um, uh, he did Home Improvement. Um, he has done a, a few movies. Um, the only one I could think of is like the Santa Claus. Uh, oh, there's a couple of them. So he's done a couple of Christmas movies, right? He's done the Santa Claus movies. If you haven't seen those, those are those are actually quite funny. Um, he's done a couple of those. Um, he's done uh, Christmas uh, with the Cranks. I think it's the Cranks. Yeah, Christmas with the Cranks. Um, where basically he's uh, um, he's this executive and he's not doing Christmas this year. His daughter's off, you know, in some Caribbean island and him and uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, as a matter of fact, um, is in it and uh, they decide they're going to cancel Christmas. They're going to go off and take a cruise, you know, not decorate or do anything. And, it's, and that's quite the funny movie too. It also has um, Dan Aykroyd in that movie as well. Um, quite a funny movie if you want to watch that. But Last Man Standing. Um, yeah. Very, very similar in my opinion, um, a very, very similar show to uh, Home Improvement. It's kind of the same thing. He works at a, uh, for Last Man Standing, he is working at a uh, an outdoor hunting and fishing type store. Um, those of you in the United States are probably uh, 
it's very much like a Cabela's or a Bass Pro Shops or um, those are the only two I can think of that are around this area. Uh, quite similar to those, you know, where you can get all your hunting and fishing gear. Um, so uh, he works in there and um, for the pilot of the show, his daughter teaches him how to do a, a video blog. So he starts doing these video blogs for the for the the shop for the store to help increase sales you know for hunting and fishing gear so that's how and that's pretty much what he does in, in every episode he does some sort of a video blog and very similar um, to home improvement you know in home improvement he would screw something up totally right and he would apologize on on set you know when he's doing his show he would do his apologies whether it's to his kids or to his wife or whatever and um, much the same way he does you know his banter with these video blogs as well now I will say uh, last man standing is a little bit more uh, politically based where um, um, home improvement was not I don't I don't remember any, uh, home improvement being political in any way shape or form um, however last man standing there are you know some innuendos and um, you definitely know that uh, Tim Allen's character, at least, is Republican. Um, I don't know if he himself is re uh, is a Republican, but uh, um, the character sure uh, leans that way. How's that? Um, but there is, you know, there are some quite funny moments, and there's some, you know, there is some uh, political banter, but the political banter is always offset by. Um, some sort of political retaliation. I'm not really a retaliation, but you know, you know, if he puts down somebody, somebody else is right there just putting down um, the other side. So you know, it kind of evens itself out in the show. Um, let's see, what the heck was I doing? Might as well take that off. That's looking pretty ugly. Uh, okay, look at the framework here. Looks like we got a tubular frame here. Oh no, that's not tubular. Okay, we're good. We're all good. Uh, Let's get uh, some of the stuff in order so we can see what we got. So yeah, it's it's not a bad show. It's not a bad show at all. Um, I, I, you know, check it out. Tell me what you think. Um, if you're a Tim Mellon fan, you may like it. Um, along with this show, they do um, bring in some of the old some of the the old cast from home improvement they have had them as guest stars on the show so you know even though you, you know you try to not compare it to home improvement it's kind of hard not to compare it to home improvement because you see you know all these guest stars coming on um, so you know it's it's kind of hard not <laughs> kind of hard not to compare it but um, yeah, it, it's not too bad. I mean, his uh, his wife from Home Improvement um, comes back on the show, um, and she's actually she's actually more of a plumber, carpenter kind of guy than he ever was on the Home Improvement show. But she comes in and she's like, you know, she's she's um, not a girly girl. She's she's a guyly girl, I guess you might call her. She's you know she's she's very up on her carpentry and plumbing skills. And um, <laughs> he's not. So, um, so that was her character on there. Um, one of his sons, uh, uh, Taylor Thomas, John Taylor Thomas, Taylor Thomas. I, I don't remember. Um, I think he was like the middle child of uh, Home Improvement. He was on there, um, and he was uh, one of the guys. Uh, owning a restaurant and wanting to uh, court or date his daughter so he's been on there uh, Al his uh, sidekick on the on the uh, TV show on the home improvement uh, mock-up show is uh, was on there I don't remember what his character was though um, not quite uh, I can't remember for the life of me um, but anyway, he's on the show as well, or has been on the show as well. Uh, 
So you have all those guys. And I need another one of those. There we go. So yeah, even though it's the you know it's you think it, it's it's home improvement. It, it really is. It's it's home improvement. It's home improvement for I don't know this this century. I guess <laughs> I guess you might say that. All right. Um, as far as wheels and tires on here, I know I know these are 15s. No, these are 20s. Oh my. Um, yeah, we put some 20s on there. 20s will work, I believe. No, we'll go 18s. Will we go 18s? Yeah, we'll go 18s. I don't know why there's 20s on this. Maybe I did that in the edit file. I think I've probably done that. Um, so let's go. You know, I was looking for the, the Super Sport. Um, rally, or I'm sorry, they're called like a rally sport rim, um, similar to this, but it had a like a chrome ring on the outside and a chrome center. We don't have anything like that in this, uh, in either the DLC pack or um, just the the normal rims. So I think I'm just going to go back with the uh, cape. I am going to go with an 18, though I believe, because um, I think these tires looked a little too big on this um, for a stock. Uh, Chevy Impala. So we're going to do that. Um, so we're going to do... Oh, well, let's go ahead and get two more of those 18s because the front's going to be 18 too. Um, all right. And we're going to go with a set of tires. We're going to go with a set of... Uh, I want race tires or sport tires. I think I want the sporty ones. Um, two. We're going to go with 18. Um, let's go with a... Uh, let's go with the 295. Uh, let's go with the 285.55. How about that? 285.55. We'll, we'll see what that looks like. Actually, what I need to do is put a body on that to see exactly how this is going to lay out. So let me. Um, okay. Let me grab some body parts. I just need, like. The main body. I wonder if I can just look it up by Impala. Yes, no? Um, so do it. Yes, I can. Alright, so we've got, uh, okay, so we'll put. Um, I don't have anything for this car. So I've got two Impalas. I've got, oh, I've got three Impalas. I've got, um, okay, okay. Um, Okay, let's go ahead and pick up all the pieces that I'm going to need. Headlights. Uh, Got to be careful here. I think that's it. That's a 67 Impala front end. I think this one is the Super Sport. Um, they're not really differentiated in the uh, in the parts store um, very well. Um, and uh, this this is a mod by Nick's Speed Shop. So if you happen to see Nick, you know, give him a thumbs up on this because this is a nice. This is, you know. I, this is actually one of my favorite Impalas of all time. I mean, this, the 64 is nice. Um, 66s, I, I like those as well. Um, but there's something about these, like the 68s and the 67 Impalas, and I like the 70 Impalas too. Um, they're just a cool looking car. Um, so we'll just go ahead and put all these body pieces on this while we can. We might as well get them all situated because I want to see what the tire is going to look like after I get it in. Um, I can't get the. Uh... Gotta get the rear. Yeah, there we go. And I think that's all we have, right? Oh, oh we have this in here. Front fender. Okay, so let me check my body. My global body is 91. That's probably because of the license plates, right? Um, 
license plates, seat Atlanta, seat Atlanta. Yeah, it looks like it's interior parts at this point. So, let me put this back up. And let me pick up a fuel pump and tank. So, where does this Impala fall into uh, Last Man Standing? Um, this Impala uh, in the show is actually um, owned by uh, a guy by the name of Joe. And Joe is played by uh, Jay Leno. Now, if anybody knows Jay Leno, Jay Leno is a car guy. Jay Leno is, you know, hands down, a car guy. Um, he's got tons of cars that he has. Um, and if you know, if you've ever seen his show, Jay Leno's Garage, you know what I'm talking about. Um, he's got a ton of cars. Well, in the sh in the Last Man Standing uh, television show, he is this, I think, a retired like mechanic guy. He owns this car, right? And the girls decide that um, they want to buy it from Joe uh, because this is a present to, uh, to their dad and husband, Tim Allen. So they buy this car. And um, it just so happens, you know, now that they sold this car, Joe's always hanging around because, I don't know, it's just, you know, it's one of his, it was his baby, I guess, and he sold it. And, um, and, and Joe just happens to have, you know, parts and pieces of this car in his garage um so like uh one episode is a he had a uh, a muncie four speed for it and it was actually the original muncie four speed i believe it was for it um but yeah he actually steals the car <laughs> from tim allen and takes it back to his garage and his garage and he's uh he puts the, he put the muncie in it for tim allen um so, it, you know, it's kind of cool. So, so this car, you know, even though it, it shows up every once in a while in a, very, in a few episodes, uh, I thought it was quite fitting. When I saw this hit the, the speed shop, I thought, you know, I love this car. I'd love to be able to do something with it um, in one of my series. And it just so happens that I was sitting around one night and I was thinking about it. And uh, I, it was actually what it was, was um, a no lie. Uh, Dead Bob 777, otherwise known as Pain. Um, has redone the F100 uh, Ford pickup. He's done an outstanding job on it. So when he was redoing that, I was like, "Oh my God! I, you know, I've got to, you know, there's got to be, I've got to be able to do this more than one time because I have it done once for um, uh, Last Action Hero. And um, matter of fact, I had his truck." Uh, before he modified it um, already queued up in the garage ready to go and he made the announcement that he had just um, redone it and I was like ah damn now I gotta redo everything um, let's see what am I missing here left window window front bumper must be the other front bumper must be the front bumper from the other car so I don't need that or that um, yeah, these windows, I'm not quite sure. I'm thinking it's supposed to be those rear windows, but those rear windows, um, aren't even listed on the car. So, um, that was kind of a waste of money there. Might as well dump those out. I'm not going to do those. All right. So I put a set of, what was it? It was 285s on the back, 285, 55s, right? So, um... I'm gonna pull these off. We'll put a set of, um, I think, two 55 55s up front. I think that's. I think that will be my plan. I think that's that's suitable. So now that I've hammered away about this car and Jay, what? Well, and if you looked, if you watched the show, Jay Leno's garage in the show is, you know. It's a guy's garage, man. It's got, you know, like, he's got the street signs. I think it even has, like, an old gas pump. That's what I would like to have in my garage. It's like an old gas pump. Why? I don't know. It's just something about old gas pumps that have that, that bubble, that have that bubble um, top to them, that bubble that lit up. 
something about those things are very nostalgic and I like those. I'd love to have one of those in my garage. Now, granted, I have no room for it. <clears throat> and I do not have a nostalgic, you know, old car in there. Uh, I have a 2013 Camaro in there. So it's not nostalgic by no means, right? But it's just something that, I, 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 I don't know, it's just... You know, some guys, they crave wanting to have a bar in their basement, uh, a pool table, um, a pinball machine. That's what I want. I want an old-time gas station, you know, a gas pump in my garage. Um, I want to be able to have it lit up. And if by chance one was converted into a refrigerator, hey, not a bad idea. I'll put all my beer in there. Sounds like a plan to me. But yeah, I don't know. How, how many of you guys or girls that you know are into muscle cars and, and garages would like to have something like that in your garage? I mean, I don't know. It, it's just, I don't know why. But like I said, it's probably like, you know, you know some people want pool tables. They want uh, pinball machines. They want, um, they want bars. Um, so, you know. I, I, I don't know. Um, let's go ahead and pick up these wheels while I'm thinking about it. Uh, we are going to go with the sport tire, right? We got two. We're going with the 18. And what did I say? 255, right? A 255. 55. So basically the same type profile, but because of my width is a little bit narrower, my profile is going to be a little bit smaller. And I'm hoping that'll give me a um, a nice stance, a nice stance to the uh, to the car. Uh, let's go back into the suspension. We might as well pick up uh, all the little goodies that we know we're going to need, uh, all the basic stuff. Um, sway bar B. Two of those. Two of those. Thank you. Um, Rubber bushings times 12. B link times 2. Bearings times 2. Now I'm sure I'm going to need some other stuff um, because this car was in rough shape. Well, you saw it, right? You saw how bad, how bad this thing was. Now. Oh, crap. See, there you go. I got the rear ones, right? picked up two of the rear ones I should have gotten the front ones um, it doesn't say front but if it says rear then it doesn't go on the front so that is an issue um, yeah and let me dump those out of my inventory before um, before I do anything else here um, Okay, by name, suspension, yeah, rear, rear. Let's get rid of those, get rid of those. Yeah, see, I've got some miscellaneous parts in here that are in really bad shape. You know, I was going to pick up a steering rack, too. I was thinking about it. I was like, yeah, I don't want to spend my money on it. I should I should have just went ahead and got that. Had a feeling that was going to die. Oh, look at the... Suspend. Uh, look at this. Holy crap. Yeah. Stuff's in bad shape, bro. Okay, let's get to... Let's get to getting this stuff going on here. Okay. Um... Um, I'm gonna need. I thought I needed two bottom suspension arms. I was gonna need both of those. I need a steering rack. I know for sure. Um, cross member D. Did I need a wheel hub or not? Um. Let's see here. Don't need that. Don't need that. Might as well get rid of those. Yeah, bottom suspension arm. Uh, I got two of them. I only needed one. Um, front axle cover. Got those. 
Uh, it was a knuckle seize. I couldn't remember which ones of those I needed. Got the sting rack. So seize. And what do I need on the brakes? Oh, typical stuff. Not a big deal. Uh... Okay, so a couple of the steering knuckles, got those. Brakes are the typical stuff, so we'll ventilate it. A couple of those. All right. Um, got my wheels, got my spring. All right, I think we're getting ready to go here. So as we were talking about Tim Allen, who out there is a Tim Allen fan? Do you like his stuff? Do you like his comedy? Um, have you seen the shows? And if you have, do you like them? Have you seen him in a movie that you liked? Have you seen him in a movie you hadn't liked? Um, let me know. Hit me up down below. Throw a comment down there. Also, while you're here, please feel free to subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Um, I'd love to have you come back for more of some of these videos and other things too. I am looking to expand my boundaries a little bit. Um, uh, Minecraft has always been one of those games that I enjoy playing. Uh, I've been away from it for a while. So uh, I just got reintroduced to it uh, not too long ago. I've been messing around with it a little bit. Um, primarily because I got interested in um, the graphics side of it. Um, they've got shaders um, and these resource packs, and I, I really like them. Um, I did do a Sky Factory 3 uh, run at one point, but um, I just I lost total interest in it, to be quite honest with you. So I gave up on doing it. Um, I don't even know how many episodes I actually did before I actually gave up on it. Um, Car Mechanic Simulator here is probably the longest running game I have been with. Um, as far as recording, definitely. Um, before that, it was uh, Star Wars Galaxies Online, if, if anyone knows of that. Um, yeah. But that's still alive. Believe it or not, that is still going on and still alive. They've got people that are driving, um, they have uh, personal servers out there that are, are running this game. So if you're interested in something like that, uh, look it up. Look up uh, Star Wars Legends or um, Star Wars EMU. Um, and you'll find what you're looking for. You'll find the EMU is the uh, pre-New Game Enhancement version of the game. Um which was actually one of my my favorite versions actually because it was a a step-by-step -step progression and you got to choose what items you wanted to be um, as far as skills and you had this you know you had you had so many skill points and you, you chose what you wanted and how you wanted to do it um, so to me that was well, it was a beautiful thing with the new game enhancements you basically um, you decided what you wanted to be. You could be a Jedi. You could be an architect. You could be, you know, I wasn't that. You could be a Jedi, an artisan, bounty hunter, you know, and it just kind of, kind of ruined, um, kind of ruined things for a lot of people. So, yeah, everybody kind of left after that. All right. Um, Let's get this radiator out of here. Battery and all right. Um, am I, is this any? I don't think any of this is going. Yikes! <laughs> Isn't it? You know, you're going real slow, hoping it doesn't crash on you and destroy it. Um, you guys do that? I don't know why I do. I just kind of feel like if I run through it too quickly, it'll it'll break it. <laughs> um. Yeah. Uh, nope, I don't need that. Let's uh, in. Oh, what am I doing? Oh my gosh. There we go. Um, radiator, battery, brake servo, or your master cylinder is basically what that is. Okay, that's a C. All right. Um, all right. So what do we have in here? We have. 
both these seats. All right, and I think, I think, I think, I think, um, where are these? Seat Atlanta. Okay. Um, what am I doing? We get some interior pieces. I think it was the. Bench Bowen for the rear. I really want to. Or is the cape? It's either one of those two, and I'm getting them both just in case. Uh, and then we had the Atlanta, huh? Uh, where's the Atlanta seats at? Seats Atlanta. There we get two of these. All right. Um, and then a nice steering wheel. This needs I. Sporty string. It's, I always default to that one, you know. Um, I just like it. All right, so we have that completed. Let's see what we have here. Uh, interior frame, 100%. Uh, global bodies, 91%. Of course, because we don't have any plates on here. Um, and of course, we don't have um, uh, we don't have the engine in it yet either. So let's move this over. Take this off. Put you in. Yes. Uh, put some oil in you. Alrighty, so that's done. All right, close the hood up. Let's send you to the air because I need to pick up a few things. Uh, one from the exhaust systems. We need uh, two of these pipes. Um, oh, I don't have a drive shaft, so we'll pick that up. Oh, I don't have a starter either, so let's pick up a starter. Um, Well, it says the V8 one. Let's jump over to the power boost shop and we will pick up. Um, let's get the exhaust. Let's narrow this down a little bit. Make it a little quicker. Two mid mufflers and two rear mufflers. Go down to the gear grip shop and we're going to pick up the transmission. Yes. All right. We are on our way here. Okay, pipe there, pipe there. So nice and clean underneath here. I would love to have something, a 67 Impala this clean in my garage. But speaking of that, you know how I said I have a uh, 20, 2013 Camaro in the garage. That's probably because my garage is so short. This thing is a boat, right? This thing's just a huge boat. And I don't, you know, I don't think, um, I don't think it would fit in there, to be honest with you. All right, um, so for some plates, what do we do for plates? All right, um, his name is Baxter, and I'm not sure where he's at, but we're, we'll throw some Colorado plates on there. Um, how about Baxter 67? All right, uh, here we go, we'll get a couple of those. Not entirely sure what plates are on it, but that's okay. I'm not even sure where it's supposed to be filmed. It's supposed to be, you know, it's in like Colorado or Idaho or, you know, something like that. One of them countries, or one of those states. Those countries, what am I talking about? All right, so with... Oh, How'd the stance come out? Oh, the stance didn't come out too bad. It's got a little bit of a rig to it. Not not a whole lot. All right. But, uh, let's uh, give it a nice coat of paint. Now, um, the 67 in the show is a blue-ish color. Um, yeah, not that color whatsoever. I think it's more of a... Jeez. Um...
Oh, this is going to be tough. Okay, so let's go here. It is kind of like a light blue, maybe. Okay, I'm going to have to take a look at something here. Um, I don't know what you guys think, but I have to... Uh, I'm going to have to do... Um, do a quick look here. Yeah. Um, now I think that needs to be um, slightly... More of a hue. Uh, saturation. I think saturation being at 75 was good. Uh, the brightness might be off a little bit. Um, maybe we go 75 for the brightness. Let's go 50 for the hue. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not quite sure here. It's really tricky. Um, okay. Like two twenty two is like. Okay, we'll stick with a 215. Um, yeah, I don't know. I thought I had I thought I had a pretty good idea of where I wanted it to be and it didn't definitely did not play out right. That's I don't know. That's kind of close, I guess. brighten it up a little bit we'll bring that up to about 75 yeah let's take a look here that's probably pretty close saturation we'll take that up to 100 percent okay we're gonna we're gonna call that done we've been playing around way too much with it okay we're gonna move you over to the dyno let's see what kind of numbers 427 Chevy can put out and it's almost looking like a purpley I, I'm gonna have to I may have to play around with that color a little bit more off camera yeah hey, we got some nice numbers there 640 horsepower 808 pounds of torque not too bad to put this lead sled down the street. Yes, I called it a lead sled. I call it a heavy Chevy. <laughs> it's about what it is. All right. Yeah, that's about, you know, it needs to be, it, it's pretty close. It's pretty close. Um, but I'll get a better, uh, I'm going to get a better, uh, better color combination than that before I take a snapshot. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Remember, this is uh, kind of like the the television show version of my movie cars. So uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please hit that subscribe button if you did. And come back for another episode, please. Uh, we'd love to have you here. Until next time, this is Quasar saying keep playing out there. Have fun. Customize. I'll see you again. I am out.